Welcome to the women's 100 meters T11, featuring the silver medalist from London 2012, silver in Lyon in the World Championships 2013, Jerusa Santos. It's Esperanza Chicasso of Angola in lane one alongside our guide Alian Baptista. Bronze in the 200 in Lyon at the World Championships in 2013. Her only major championship medal in her career, but she normally comes very close. Fourth in the 100 meters final in Lyon, where Guilhermina won. From Namibia, Laya Ishatile. Bronze in the Commonwealth Games 100 meters in Glasgow two years ago. That her only major championship medal. Lavinia Onyekbule of Nigeria in lane five. Fourth in the 200 meters in Doha at last year's World Championships, disqualified in the one. And Jerusa Santos of Brazil actually did win a medal ahead of Guilhermina in the 100 meters in Doha in the World Championships last year. Normally it's finished behind it. Gold in the four by one in the World Championships 2011, but a string of silvers in the one and two in the last three World Championships and in the last Paralympic Games in London as well. Bronze in the one and the four in the Pan Ams in Toronto last year. Lifetime best is 12-12, which is pretty fleet of foot in its own right. And half a second quicker than the next best in the field, Onyegule of Nigeria. It's on personal best, but we can forget about those for the moment because it's the race at hand that matters. Santos in lane seven. So Chikasso in one, Ishatile three, Onyegule five, and Santos in seven. Only the winner automatically through. Jacasso just taking a little longer to get set. Guide making sure the hands are behind the line. It's only the three fastest losers who are through now. And away at the first time of asking. Solid start that was by Santos in lane seven. Onye Bulle is going well in five, but it's Santos who's now hitting the front in the final 30, and Santos will win it 12.33. That'll do very nicely. Another Brazilian through to the semi finals. That'll be the third. Everybody from Brazil through to the semis because Guilhermina will get through as the fastest loser without any doubt at all. Santos makes it as well. 12.34, that's been rounded up to with Ishitile in second and Jacasso in third. Well, Jacasso it was who maybe made the best start of the four and certainly posed the question early to Santos. But Jacasso faded over the last 20 metres and fell out of the contest somewhat. Well, Santos... A well-paced 100 metres, if there is such a thing. It's a straight-out sprint, of course, but look on the inside in one. The brilliant start made by Esperanza Jacasso from Angola. Perhaps had half a metre on the field, but a withering finish coming from Jarusa Santos on the outside. And uh, Jacasso beaten into third by Ishitile. And looks in very good nick, does Jarusa Santos. Good margin of victory for her as well, ahead of Ishitile. Quarter of a second clear, 12.34. So all of the home athletes in Rio have managed to make it through. Big yell by Guilherme Suarez, her guide alongside. Presumably just to say that he was easing up and that the line was there. I think he's telling her when to dip. <laughs> Here's the line, go now. Yeah. But the relationship between the guide and the runner is so crucial, not just the teamwork, but the amount of training that they have to do together. Santos wins 12.35.